I confess that I had some difficulty myself with this video technique. What I did was to make the wrong assumptions on how I thought it worked, and that sent me off in the wrong direction. So this master video track technique does not copy or loop our video. So let's begin by showing and explaining exactly what master video track does. It allows us to have a video running continuously, in my case here, as a background through a slideshow. I have still images being displayed over the video, but when the transition takes place, the video continues running. So this does mean that some transitions work better than others. Dissolve is a good one. Shapes, gates, they all work okay. But perhaps transitions like page turn or swap 3D are not so visually pleasing. The video we're using as the master video track is not copied, repeated or looped. So it will only play as a master video for its normal runtime. So if we're making a three minute slideshow and we have a one minute video, we're going to need to make the video a master three times to span the three minutes. In my example, I recorded just 30 seconds of slow motion video, but of course in playback, that gives me close to two minutes of video. And I can use that as the master video track. Here's what we need to do. In the main screen of PTE AV Studio, I'm gonna drag down my video. Straight away I'm going to go to the Objects and Animations screen and we're looking for the Properties tab. We need to go down to this option and choose Master Video Track. Now we can close down the Objects and Animations screen, come back to the video, drag down another copy of it. This copy we also need to open up into the Objects and Animations screen and also into the Properties tab, but here we can now link it to the original 1886 video. And I can close that. Now in my case, I chose to display still images over the top of the background video. Now let's quickly do that because we're going to do a copy and paste in a moment and it's gonna make sense to have an image in place. It'll save a bit of time. So let's go to the Objects and Animations screen, click into the grey area, and I want to add an image. I'll just pick an image at random, starting at the top left there. And I made this slightly smaller than normal. In fact, I think I set it at something like 80%. In the properties, I gave it a border of about 8 and a drop shadow. OK to that, and I can close the objects and animation screen because now things speed up a little bit because I can select the entire slide hit control C to copy click just to the right and hit control V control V and keep doing that for as long as I like up to the length of our master video track which in my case is around about two minutes now we've got the same image in every single slide, but we can easily change those. Let's select the second one, go to the Objects and Animation screen, Properties tab, Picture option. Here we can select the next one. Skip to the next slide in the sequence and do the same. And we can move through these pretty quickly as you can see. That picture looks a little bit dark. I'm not sure that's a, a good choice for this. But I think I've got them all. And we'll see them change if we just give them a short time. That one is a little bit on the dark side. Objects and animation screen. Let's swap it for something else. <laughs> 